Hi, I'm Jeff Dean, your Director of Player Development, and our team at PGA West Private is excited and ready to assist you with your golf games this summer. We have our Golf 101 Clinic Program, which is designed for beginners, intermediate, and advanced golfers. We also have our customized private lesson program and our big junior golf program. So I encourage you to check us out on the member website, or please feel free to contact me at gdean at pgawest.com for more information. And today's coaching tip is brought to you from one of our Golf 101 Clinic programs, and that is when to chip it, when to pitch it. So join me out on the practice tee for a few tips, and I'll see you soon. Today's coaching tip comes from a question that I get all the time, and that is, what is the difference between a chip and a pitch, and when do I use it? Well, first of all, a chip shot is a shot that we have that's a little bit closer around the green, where most of the flight of the ball is on the ground. So 25% of the shot is, on, uh, is in the air, and then 75% of it, generally speaking, is on the ground running to the hole. A pitch shot is actually the opposite. 75% of the shot typically is in the air, 25% of it is on the ground. So as we can see here where uh, the ball is on the fringe, very close to the green, and the shot requires a lower running shot, then we're going to chip the ball. And how do we set up for a chip? We're gonna place the ball back in your stance. You're gonna lean your hand slightly forward and lean your weight into your lead leg. You're going to make more of a body rotation and very low arms. Notice my, it's not a lot of wrist play. In fact, it, it's hardly any at all. It's primarily body and arms back and forth. So I'll give you the three pieces to the puzzle on the chip. Ball back, hand slightly forward, weight forward. And then I simply rock back and forth, turning and then striking the ball. Here we go. Ball back, hands forward, weight forward. And then one, two. Notice the ball comes out low and runs uh, to the target. Now, we're gonna go back to the pitch here and I'm gonna show you the difference between the chip and the pitch. I'm gonna take out a more lofted club. And in this case, instead of playing the ball back in your stance and leaning your hands forward with very little wrist play, we're gonna place the ball more in the middle of your stance your weight is going to be more in the middle or evenly distributed. And this time, the fundamental difference is we're going to create a little leverage. In other words, we're going to set the wrist with a little wrist angle. And then on the follow through, we're going to release that a little bit so the ball gets in the air. So I place the ball in the middle of my stance. I'm going to turn, create a little leverage in my wrists and release that. And the ball goes higher in the air. Uh, I'll show that one more time. The main difference between a chip and a pitch as far as the shot goes is I'm creating a little wrist play to allow the ball to get up in the air. So we'll set up again, ball in the middle, weight more evenly distributed, turn, set the wrist, release the wrists. The ball pops up in the air and then generally runs out. So this is more of a pitch shot where the majority of the shot is in the air and very little of it will roll. So I encourage you to try both techniques out on the golf course, chip it whenever you can, and then when you have to create a little bit more uh, trajectory or, or height with the golf ball, go ahead and pitch the golf ball and figure out which is best for you. Um, sometimes golfers like to pitch the ball more often than chip it, uh, but I encourage you to practice uh, both and figure out what works best for you. And if you have any further questions about this uh, golf coaching tip or any other, please feel free to contact me at gdean at pgawest.com. Have a great day.